Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So it's quite late here um, and we're just starting the first stage of beginning some prep on the fresh vegetables. So if you didn't manage to see our haul video, could you just hold that sack up please? We actually got 10 kilos of carrots. And Mr. Wallflowers has just been questioning it. Um, it says 25 times 10 kilograms. 2.5, I think. Oh, so how much is that then? 25 kilos. So it's actually 25 kilos and not 10 kilos. Um, so it would have cost a lot, lot more than I budgeted for. So it would have taken off savings well over a hundred pounds it would mm. be an extra 15 pounds yeah. on top wouldn't it so mm. and if you could lift the tomatoes just for viewers that didn't see the whole video really um should we see this video so we got those carrots for two pound fifty we got these tomatoes for two pound a box and the beautiful tomatoes on the vine um in beautiful condition there's the odd one um, that's split but it literally is the odd one the rest of them are in perfect condition and we also got um, some green beans now we were just setting up to do the carrots the carrots are all really really large carrots I've just had a brainwave I'm thinking if we do the green beans first because they're more likely to dry up more um, so, and the carrots look quite okay so that's what I'm thinking we put the carrots back and we start the green beans tonight. Get as many as them done as we can and then start the rest tomorrow. Mm. Is that alright with you? Yep. So let's take a handful. So the green beans, as I say, look the lovely. You know, some of them are a bit shriveled in places, but we'll just take from them what we can. So you know how to do these, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Top and tail them. I'm going to cut green beans. And then uh, cut them into bite-sized sections. I'm not saying you haven't, I'm just double-checking that we're both singing from the same song sheet, as it were. Right, let's... Start singing. Right, here's a pan for your waist. My waist. Are we organised? I think so. <laughs> We've still got about eight jars from the last time we've done one. I know, we'll have to start eating a few more, won't we? Mm. Yeah, the chimes. Yeah, the clock in the background. I remember when we first got that clock and we were doing the live streams and yeah. people kept asking what it was. We're so used to it now, we don't always hear it, do we? No. After six months, the charms are right. <laughs> six months, the time's right. <laughs> I found it funny last week, Oscar was talking about someone political, I can't remember who in particular he was talking about. Um, we both giggled, didn't we? And he said, well, even even a broken clock's right, right twice as well. Some videos coming soon. I know, yeah. Well, we've already got um, several in reserve, haven't we? Yeah. It's not like us to be this organised. Uh, we've been releasing more and more videos to our membership section. Um, um, it was lovely, wasn't it? Four new people uh, rejoined yeah. um, our membership last night on the live stream. And it's building up again, uh, the Wallflowers community. So what we're tending to do now is to release videos firstly to our members before we release them to the main page. Mm. Don't 
there's one there as well if you care to grab it. Aye. <laughs> Been a long day. Creaking. We fitted a lot in today though, haven't we? Yeah. You took a stroll, didn't you? Yeah. I went down to the, the local shopping yeah, centre. Shopping centre. Yeah. Mall. Yeah, because we haven't got the van. <coughs> Everything's by foot, isn't it? Yeah. How far away would you say it was? About two mile away. Walking. <laughs> to get coffee for years and because you can't get that at the initiative. Can you? Yeah, sometimes oh. on the halls people ask us about coffee, etc. Um, Mr. Wolf always buys the coffee for me in bulk. Um, and where do you buy from? Aldi. He buys me the coffee from Aldi. Uh, and how much are they now? £1.99. So the one ninety nine for a really large jar. Um, we tend to buy three or four at a time. Um, and that keeps me going for the month then, doesn't it? Mm. Um, and as you will see if you regularly watch the hauls, I get Mr Wallflowers the tea bags on a Friday and I tend to get anywhere between 40 and 80. Um, if I get 80, it's 60 pence. If I get 40, it's 30 pence. And I keep him stocked up that way. Uh, unfortunately, I don't find coffee um, at the food initiatives. Well, very rarely. There's the odd occasion I do yeah. find it, but very rarely. It's normally like the cheap save coffee, little jars, and, and then you end up mixing it in with that. And it doesn't taste quite right, does yeah. it? I've tried it several times, haven't I? Yeah. There are a few I'm having to throw away, but we'll work with it. There's still there. Plenty of jars out of it. Walking there, it's mostly downhill, but coming back, it's uphill. So I took the shopping trolley with me. I found that so hysterical. <laughs> Mr. Wallflowers would have never pulled, carried a shopping trolley unless he was assisting me. Um, when I came home, <laughs> he told me he'd been to the shopping centre and that he took the trolley with him. Well, I was flabbergasted. He said, well, I actually carried it there, but I pulled it back. I was flabbergasted. But you didn't mind. You had no, no qualms about it. Helped you with the shopping, didn't it? Because he's trying to get back uphill then. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, none of your friends saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have made an excuse? I'll make his round corner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd have been bothered. I'm in the pub with my shopping trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did men do it though? Yeah. The shopping trolley? Yeah. On the fries, you do it used to. <laughs> <laughs> Payday. I'm in with the shopping trolley. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a guy who walked past, didn't he? Um, we nicknamed him Yawny, didn't we? Yeah. Um, he'd either sometimes be carrying a shopping trolley or he'd be carrying two, four pinters of milk, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd just look like he was yawning all the time as he walked up and down. But he'd obviously been all the way to the shopping centre and back, hadn't he? Yeah. He'd be going past every day. Yeah. <laughs> I think he'd been sent by his mum, hadn't he? Yeah. Even what we're cutting out and calling bad will go in the compost bin anyway, so we'll get the compost out of it, won't we? Yeah. And we love green beans. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is what we did last year. We brought the green beans in from the garden and did this, but I also bought a tray last year and did this, didn't I? Yeah. So we had ample. Someone was asking on the 
comments. Let's just Some, speak up a little bit. Somebody asked on the comments about where do we get our meat. Oh, right. Because we don't really show meat, do we buy any meat? Well, sometimes I can show where I can buy. It used to be when the Bridge shop was available. Mm. So I used to go to a uh, food initiative called the Bridge at Bryn. And unfortunately it closed down. Um, and the nearest one of those food initiative shops is quite far away in an area called Lee and it's the other side of Wigan and it's not as easy for cattle to drive us to. Um, and we used to, get, drive, used to get a lot of sausage, chicken, um, salami, mincemeat, mince meat, gammon, um, varied. We, we got beef there, we got all kinds there. Um, and of course we don't get to that outlet now um we do need to stock up don't we yeah our supplies at some point mm. good job we stocked up with the meat over the months because it's been in the freezer for the past few months yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're going we're working our way through that and we're still eating uh, them little cocktail sausages and we got them about 18 months ago was it yeah yeah bought loads of boxes and they were a pound a box for about a hundred a hundred cocktails and I split them up into portions yeah. in Ziploc bags didn't I so they've been at the bottom of the freezer for 18 months and we're getting through them now well some days roast the gammon you cooked yeah we cooked gammon a couple of days ago that was from 2021 that we'd froze we'd backpacked it and froze that and and we've managed to get quite a lot of gammon at that stage, mm. haven't we? And we'd, as I say, we'd, we'd back packed it, froze it, uh, been at the bottom of the freezer since 21. We've been used quite a few. Well, was that the last one you pulled yeah. out? Mm. I found another jar that does dandelion, haven't you? Have you? A big jar as well. I know, I don't. We're going to have to get onto that as well because them dandelions aren't going to last They're going to disappear, aren't they? Mm. So much to do. There is. As I say, this is best doing in the weather when it's raining and we're expecting rain tomorrow anyway, so mm. it should be a full day of prep tomorrow, especially we've got to have the canner on and different things so at least that provides heat in the house as yeah. well if it's cold with the rain it isn't always cold with the rain is it no it's been quite warm when it's been raining lately mm. and the temperature hasn't dropped tonight no. we had the fire on last night didn't we only for a little bit it? yeah just one fire wasn't it we didn't even reason you know, it. Live stream, I'm <laughs> Yeah, it went well the live stream last night, didn't it? Yeah, until we got a strike. Oh, <laughs> oh that was crazy. <laughs> we don't know what it was for. They're just saying it was inappropriate. We think it may have been because we linked up with Charlie Gaz's live stream um, on his 50s Do What music channel. Um, Charlie Gaz is a member of our community. Um, he's a DJ and he plays some wonderful music and he dedicated a song to the channel. Um, what was the name of the song? Wallflowers oh, Will Bloom Tonight. Bloom. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely little ditty if you haven't heard Margaret it. Elliot, Margaret Elliott. Margaret Elliott, yeah. Um, we linked up with him, um, our live stream to his live stream. Um, but he played it and we, we played it. But we don't know if that's the reason why we got... Well, we didn't get a strike. Mm -hmm. We got a limited monetization, they called it. Um, so we probably won't get paid for the video, will we? No. But hey, mm -hmm. we enjoyed it all the same, so... Well, Gaz gave us money anyway, didn't he? <laughs> oh, he did. He made a lovely donation, didn't he? lovely of them. I mean several people have this week. Yeah. We've been blessed. Linda, Linda, Catherine, Gaz. Absolutely blessed this week. Yeah. It is a lovely community. Well, we could do with someone donating a van. 
<laughs> well, look, you don't know yet because you might have your your little crazy plan yet mm. might come to fruition. Should we talk about your plan? Come up with an idea before to get some money. Because we can't really afford to go into debt and get a loan or get a car finance or anything. So what I was what I was thinking about was to take some money out of me pension if I could and just get a lump sum of my pension and just looking a little bit into it then you can get twenty five percent of your pension. Tax free. Yeah. If you you had to be over fifty five, but I'm nowhere near that now. So I'll <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put pay to that plan. I'm back in reality. <laughs> so just I'm just about... over the threshold. So I'm gonna look into taking a lump sum out of my pension, but then increase my pension contributions in work. To try and, to try and yeah. get some of it back. So that's an idea what we've just come up with. Toying with, yeah. So make inquiries into that tomorrow and see how we go. Hopefully we can get a lump sum and buy a van and get a few house improvements going. Well, we need the windows doing desperately, don't we? Mm. Um, because in the winter, uh, people have seen us cover them in bubble wrap, um, try and insulate and fill gaps. We've lived here over 20 years now and we've um, never replaced the windows. Um, they were windy when we moved in, <laughs> weren't we? So I don't think the previous owners have replaced them for a number of years either. Um, so that would be quite expensive to have all the windows in the house done. But if you were to take a percentage of your pension, I think wisely that would be the best thing to replace the mm. windows. Because it would still add value then to the house. Yeah, but not just that, it'd save us yeah. heating costs, uh, damp to the house, etc. Mm. We want to do the gutter room as well, don't we? Yeah. Quite a, quite a bit to do regarding improvements and things that have got to be done. A couple of weeks ago, the fence blew down and it took half of the concrete uh, Post. overlap that keeps it in place. So I've had to just patch that up. But I've noticed a couple of the posts have cracked. So now, there was one on the free side, though, wasn't there? Yeah. But lo and behold, it became available two days after the van had died. Mm -hmm. So obviously we had no, no van to go and collect it because they're about six foot tall, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so I contacted, I knew the lady who put it up uh, for free on the site. So it was a six foot um, concrete post. So it comes out at the side and you kind of slot the fencing down it and thread it down. Um, so I contacted her and asked if her husband, who happens to be Cadell's brother, um, it? yeah, it was um, Tracy who I had advertised it. Um, so I asked, um, did Cadell's brother have um, a van? And if so, we could have paid for him to, to bring it over and you could have helped him lift it, etc. Um, but unfortunately, he doesn't have a van. Um, so. I'd also spoken to Carol about it. Um, she'd contacted Tracy and said, would it be possible, do you think it'd fit in her car? Mm -hmm. Even if she tried to put it out one of the windows, etc. <laughs> but it wasn't going to be viable. Mm -hmm. But she tried her best to help us, yeah. you know. So you can't ask for more than that from a friend, can you? You don't realise how much you need a van when you haven't got it. Well, you always need it more when, <laughs> when you haven't yeah. got it, don't you? Mm -hmm. The days and weeks it's just sat on the drive and we haven't and gone anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if the plan comes off, um, we'd have to keep going over the financial aspect of it, working it out, making sure it's viable, 
making sure it's a safe process that we can do. There's no other hidden agenda on me. Uh, I wouldn't like it to be attached to the property or, you know, but then we can also get a, a new kitchen like that. then, which we desperately need. Well, it depends. We'll look at it. Mm. Um, it might just be literally new fitted units um, paying our job man to do it, but we we need it reassessed, don't we? Because it's not really working for us. Mm. This setup is it. Mm. We like it laid out differently. It's not enough, a lot of space to play with, but if we can reassess it and do it somehow. Mm -hmm. I still have the kitchen from the old house. Yeah, it was lovely, mm -hmm. wasn't it? We had a fitted kitchen eventually uh, put in place in the old house. And it was an oak fitted kitchen with wicker baskets and uh, it wrapped the whole of the kitchen and dining area, yeah, yeah. yeah, didn't it? It was absolutely We knocked the wall down and we into the dining To enable it. A small wall. Yeah. yeah. Made the kitchen a lot bigger. And then we only had about two years and then we sold the house. And yeah, to come here. here for the land. Yeah. We had two boys and we originally started looking for a property so the boys could have a room each. And when we found this house, we absolutely fell in love with it, didn't we? Yeah. Um, they still ended up sharing the bedroom because yeah. it's only a two-bedroom house. <laughs> We've always toyed with getting the loft done, haven't we? The yeah. loft, the attic, uh, and turning that into another bedroom, but it's just way too expensive to even consider, really. You have to take the whole roof off build up and then put the roof back on. You're talking it's a big 15, 20,000 pounds. Yeah. Nice to dream of it though. Mm. Your neighbour across the road. Just watch what you're in, Brian. Please. You know, what I've been doing, if they're no good, I've been popping the, no, the thing up from the middle. across the road he's got one hasn't he he done all the the attic room he, he, he was a build and he done it himself with a few of his mates <laughs> he dragged us over come yeah. and have a look come and have a look show. Yeah. <laughs> and he wasn't a friend or anything he was literally a neighbour we'd just say hello to walking mm -hmm. past <laughs> come wait just drag us in and show yeah. us his house it was lovely though, absolutely beautiful yeah. with the ensuite bathroom and yeah. everything else. And the daughter now lives in the top layer of the house. She has the whole top layer. There's only air there now, isn't it? The other two have left. Yeah, the other two can. They've done well though, they've turned their house into an absolute... It's like a little mansion, isn't it, really? Yeah. With a summer house in the back garden. And mm. All kinds. That's it. If you're a builder and you can do it, yeah. it's rude not to, really, isn't it? But then by building on your own house, you're taking away money from what you could be earning and doing for some other thing. The time that took, it took months, didn't it? Uh, it's probably tripled, quadrupled yeah. the value of the property. Mm. And to think at one stage they would have been, these were all council houses. Yeah, mm. well, a few are still. Yeah. There's not many people on the roads, but that's a life. Ten hours, is it? It's probably more than ten, isn't it? Where are there's six on, the, on that this. side, so there's probably about 18 houses, and I'd say only about five or six have bought them. Mm. The 
nice though if your plan comes off. Yeah. We do need a vehicle, don't we? So what do you say, yeah? Uh, you might be in the Bahamas this time next week. We will not. <laughs> <laughs> Live stream straight from the Bahama Beach. You have not even got a valid passport. Oh. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I, like, not just you. <laughs> well, it won't be next week. <laughs> Express delivery. Yeah. It's nearly £100 to get your passports, isn't it? It's more, isn't it? It's more than that, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was about £90. And it costs you £12 to get the photos done. No, you can do it yourself now. It's mm. all new fandangled. You can take it on your phone and upload it. Mm. to get with the times. <laughs> and then you've got to pay to get it recorded to look or something. Well, if you need it fast, but if you're not waiting to go away and okay. you just need it as identification or you just want to top up and make sure you've got it then you don't need express delivery do you, you can just wait mm. there's always a way to cut out the costs <laughs> We did one. Probably halfway through, I think. That's why I thought this is a bit of a smaller job, and at least we we'll see some have some satisfaction of a completion of a job tonight mm. without having to stand there and do <coughs> whole sack of carrots. <coughs> Excuse me. It'd be nice to get three of us going in different work stations tomorrow. I've said to Oscar, it's a busy day ahead tomorrow with the food prep and you need to help. Mm. It's raining tomorrow so we can't get into the garden. Um, he's agreed. Um, if it's on camera. Well, I've said it's going to be on camera. Um, so, we'll see. But... He doesn't matter peeling potatoes and carrots and stuff. So. I mean, I don't know whether to add water bottle and potatoes because of. Yeah, we were talking about this. Like we? Potatoes on the shelf of the uh, canning process. Yeah, do look all cloudy. I think we probably just come back to last time. Well, we can do that then. We can water bath them if you want. It mm. means we can process them both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Get the water bath canner going. Um, have the other canner going for these. Um, on the pallets because I can actually use all the um, shuffle jars that yeah. have, like the normal ones. Yeah. Um, they just look ten times better than the pressure can. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do that then. I agree. Mm. So, just saves more cannon jars then for these and whatever. Mm. Because I like to use the proper canning jars for the canner. Yeah. Uh, I like using the shuffle jars and the water oh. bath. Yeah. But I'm just used to that. Mm. Got loads of jars on them. Yeah, the shuffle ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
because we've been using the cannon jars, some of them are coming back more into play now as well, aren't mm. they? So we should have enough for at least all the green beans yeah. and see how we go on. I think the carrots as well. Do you think we'll have enough? I think the carrots should be water bathed as well. Water bathed? Yeah. Oh, they look better than the I mean, the pressure canned carrots don't look too bad. Mm -hmm. but I think you just didn't like one. the potatoes canned properly, did you? Pressure cans. Yeah. So it's each to their own. We all it's our kitchen, our rules, isn't mm. it? So well, considering that's meant to be bevel can, I know, and that yeah. looks better than yeah. pressure can. Well, we'll bring the two jars out and show them all at the same time. Mm. I'll show what we mean when we do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to come up with some questions for the quiz on Sunday as well. Well, we've got to discuss the meal then, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Bridget, have you made them notes? <laughs> oh, I did miss Bridget on the live stream, though. I'll say I messaged her uh, no, through she, social media. She messaged you. Yeah, she's been watching Twitch, um, some people she follows on there, um, working on her own videos. <coughs> so that's Bridget from... BCTV, a videographer with a difference, with a difference. Um, another big member of this community, we love our Bridget, um, if you haven't seen her channel, pop over and see it, um, but yeah, she should be with us for the live streams over the weekend. There's a few now that have got channels that are yeah, yeah. following us, Samantha. Samantha, yeah. Tessie, Bridget, mm -hmm. um, can't think who's coming to mind, mm -hmm. um, Kev, and like the tail Kev, um, no, not a quite a few, one. he's right in the book, um, so in like the is um, our friend Kev, and he does um, history research from many different books and his own insight. Um, and he's in the process of writing a book now. And his channel is called Entitled K Enlightened. Enlightened Turtle. Uh, we just find him so interesting. Yeah. He's a really cool guy. It's just a different take of what the history books tell us. Yeah. He looks into it to see if all's not well bronze and where it all comes from and what it was used for and different migration paths and yeah a whole range of different things um he introduced me to a guy called commons beaumont and i had never heard of him before uh, i started to research different things and i just found it really interesting um so i looked into him yeah discovered different things but we have an avid interest in all terms of history um, and something we've looked into for a number of years isn't it and then when Kev came along we, we just kind of tuned there was into others them, didn't that we? we used to watch before that wasn't it that got us into it well we already had an interest yeah. in it but we did we did listen uh, to other tubers but um, not so much there's a guy I love um, and I follow his channel and um, it used to be called What the Flock and he is now called The Black Sheep Researcher. He has two channels, The Black Sheep Researcher and The Thinking Man and a lot of his work um, relates to the number 11 and um, Janus, J-A-N-U-S um, and if you research his name it actually um, the description comes up as God of Gods um, and he does a, Paul does so much interesting work um, I absolutely love his work um, his accent is uh, not so far from us he's a northern guy um, he's got a lovely sense of humour and I just enjoy his work he's got quite a big following as well he has a really big channel mm.
um, we're going to do like a talk to camera if what we haven't done for a while, but we're not really taking that much interest in what goes on in this country at the minute, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got a lot of what's going we've on. We've kind of backed off and took for granted that we've known for quite a while what's coming, mm -hmm. so, and we can't really talk about yeah, how we how we see things um, <laughs> on the channel because we get strikes and we we got a strike on the live stream about six months ago didn't yeah. we uh for being open and frank about our opinions so we did try to speak in code for a while but i think that went a bit awry didn't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so it, it's quite difficult to talk about our opinions openly i suppose um, but we've been knowing about certain things for quite a while. I wonder why they don't want us talking about things like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame really because we could have some lovely vivid conversations. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, open, honest and frank. Um, Without instilling our thoughts on other people, just you know, an open, open mm. discussion. Sorry, what did you say? They get to know us even more. Then. <laughs> <laughs> what we talk about in private. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's why we first started prepping and canning, wasn't it? Because yeah. of our, um, well, most of the people that watch us are like minded anyway, they all they all know what's Yeah, we all know why we can't discuss certain things. Mm. It's a shame really when it goes to an extent of, you know, your channel could be removed mm. or your videos are removed. It's us a censorship isn't it yeah. but we love this format we love being able to build a community so it's not a lot we can really do about it except how we live our life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that that lady margaret Anne, is it we found, yeah. found us Hundred and one, and she. And Margaret, she, Margaret Ann says she's hundred and one. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if it's a relative or a carer or a daughter, what it is. Um, but she has Keely who who tends to and helps her. But Aunt Margaret Anna mm. hundred and one is still canning, still canning. food <laughs> preserving, and she was up pretty late, wasn't she, yeah. watching watching our live stream? Well, that's probably early over there because she had to go for. Well, I suppose, yeah, 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 because my mum used to go to bed at 7pm, yeah. you know, she wasn't nearly that age. To still be canon, she probably yeah. canon for years, isn't she? But it's, it's hard work, because you're stuck there for a long, long time, mm. I know you can sit down and watch it and that, but it's a lot involved. I mean, there's that other guy who watches videos and his dad's what, 92? Um. Ed, the podiatrist. Mm. Um, he's so active, um, but unfortunately he has um, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's and can't remember and has to be reset every day and reminded of where he lives, mm. how old he is, etc. Um, but Anne seems to have all her faculties intact yeah. and as I say, still very, very active. So yeah, it's wonderful. And how many followers we have on there? 102. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling studying now doing this for hours, <laughs> never mind. How long have we got? Another 40. 40 odd years. Well, for some. For some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably looking at about another 60. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have two of a cash my pension. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Still be working. <laughs> a percentage of. <laughs> I'll push you in your wheelchair. Oh, <laughs> if you're not pushing me before, then. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll, have, I'll have a state of the art solar propeller. Oh, little right. flying machine. <laughs> we should be flying by then. Yeah. We're probably sitting on drones. <laughs> And they'd have to be a lot bigger than the drones are at the minute to sit on them. The minute, aren't they? Mm. We never actually showed the drone we got, did we? No. We only had a couple of goals and couldn't get it off the ground. So on, um, was it on Olio? Yeah, I think it was. On the Olio app, um, it not only has free food on the Olio app, but it has free items. And I just happened to be looking at it one afternoon and a post came up straight away. Um, so I, I was one of the first people to see it. Um, it was a free drone, um, helicopter style, um, with a camera on, etc. Remote control. Um, and she was offering it with some helicopters, just remote control helicopters, wasn't it? Mm. And it was just the first couple of weeks Oscar had come to live with us back again wasn't it and I thought well yeah that'd be a lovely lovely activity for us all to go out together um, when the good weather comes in um, and we could go fly the drone record uh, fly the helicopters etc um, even though they look like children's toys I think all three of us get immense enjoyment out of it yeah. won't we um, where did we go we went to Southport Beach went to Southport yeah. Me and Oscar went on the local fields to try and do it, but it was so Both wet turns. and windy. Yeah, so it needs to be fully charged um, and good weather, and then we'll take it for the run. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get it up a little bit and then it'll come crashing down. I suppose once you get used to it, it'd be good to do some filming. Flying around. Yeah, and, yeah. Taking up the beacon and yeah. different things around that orchard and yeah. all that. I think already we've got more than our one pound twenty-five's worth, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many jars do you think we'll get out of all this? Six. Six to eight. You can fit loads in a jar. Yeah, yeah. Because I've got your table out and sold them in the front. <laughs> we used to do that in the good old days when we yeah. sold the beds, didn't we? Yeah. I used to get a pasting table out in the front, front drive. Um, any plants that we had that we were selling, any hanging baskets I had filled with flowers and made pretty. Because we live um, on the main road, there's plenty of passing through. Uh, any vegetables we had, uh, put them in trays, and we'd sell them on the front. Um, passers by would just stop, purchase them. People would come out of houses and come over and purchase them. Um, I used to do quite well. We used to take orders, didn't we, for yeah. different plants as well. Um, we'd deliver oh, sacks of potatoes and egg eggs. trays of eggs. <laughs> All kinds, yeah. We did home service delivery, didn't we, yeah. from home? Um, we used to run it through Facebook. <laughs> We've always done something, haven't we? Yeah. But it's always been food related, generally. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the weird thread, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've never gone without. Mm -hmm. We used to sell all the good stuff. Um, anything that remained like this, we'd cut and trim, cut and trim, and we'd eat what was we left and waste not one <laughs> half. <laughs> Veg for us, for yeah. Months. But we didn't waste any, did we? No.
take some up to the fracking camp. Yeah. Or the anti fracking camp. Anti. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are beginning to wait oh, now. Yeah. Yes. The ends in sight though. We should have really brought the rugs back out so we could stand them yeah. and that's what they were bought yeah, for. I don't know what where we really ended up. Probably in the pantry somewhere at the back. Yeah. They used to take the pressure off your legs, yeah. aren't they, while you stood up? Once we are complete, I'll just lay a plate, put some more water in, lay a plate in, and I may still fully in the water till tomorrow. And start them tomorrow morning. Just so people are liking <coughs> these kind of videos that we're just starting to do you now. <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking and randomly getting on with the work. Yeah. It's got to be done now, we've got to complete this work. Yeah. We've got no choice, have we? And hopefully it'll encourage other people to do it. I mean, if either of us were on our own now doing it, which we both have several times, the other one may be busy, engaged, doing something else, or Mr. Wallflower's out at work, etc. I'd literally have the radio mm. on and be singing along to songs or Spotify on my phone and be listening to music I've chosen to listen to at the time or even a podcast or a book. I've mm -hmm. done Some, all of them, haven't I? Someone else's channel. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring the laptop out and watch something like, as I go along. But yeah. you don't have to stand in silence and do it if you're on your own. It's just if you're both together, it saves a little bit of electricity of having anything gone and mm -hmm. the lights and just entertain each other and have a catch up. It's nice to be able to talk well, to each other you. while you're not at work. Because when you are working and you're tired and you have an afternoon sleep, etc. It's not a lot of talking, is it? Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And I can miss out on adult conversation, etc. <laughs> yes, I've got Oscar, but a massive age gap and his interests aren't always the kind of things I want to be discussing, <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> Although we do have our madness times together and enjoy each other's company. It's Crawford's birthday next week, isn't it? next week yeah i was in um we, one shop today it was the shop i bought the ice pops in and the cream eggs um now it's a discounted store it's not a food initiative um and they had a tub i mentioned them to you they're, mm. they're not quite shoelaces but they're like a jelly licorice on the outside with white sweet in the middle so what would you call it sticks some kind mm. of sticks anyway um the tub was there and the sign in this discounted sweet shop food shop said six pounds a tub i was flabbergasted <laughs> so i said to the guy bob who, who actually runs the shop i said have i made a mistake there are you asking six pounds tub for those sweets and he said yeah i said I come here for cheap stuff, no, not to be paying six pounds for one tub of sweets. He said you'd be surprised. He said lots of people have bought them, but you said they're about fifty pence for one of the sweets in yeah. the shop, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, they were the ones that donated to the Christmas uh, things, weren't they? Yeah, it they donated did. the crisps. Yeah. Well, what were they called? Doritos. Yeah. There were several different types of two trolleys of Doritos. They donated. Which was wonderful because mm. they were given out then and enjoyed over the Christmas period. Mm. 
rather than sitting in a warehouse waiting to go to landfill. Yeah. You just go back in another couple of weeks and say how much of the sweets now. <laughs> I think they'll all be sold, won't they, for 50 pence for one individual. How much does you pay for that other tub? 25 pence, wasn't it? 42 pence, yeah. wasn't it, for the spider jellies. Did you tell them? Well, he actually watched the video and told me he saw it. Oh, that, he? Well, he said he spotted the brown sauce as well, and that's why he asked for, um, can you do me some brown sauce and ketchup and send them in the food policy, please? <laughs> Save me buying them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you won't notice a bottle of each. <laughs> So it turned out a disaster, that brown sauce, in the end. I had to throw it away. Um, did you notice? I bought that container of brown sauce tonight for £1.50. That's the top thing. The brown one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I started to do Crawford a bottle of it. And we must have seen it here in the teriyaki bottle. That was empty. <coughs> yeah, I put it in the cupboard. It's just... I think I threw it away. Alright, so watch this then. Watch this. And the camera won't be able to witness it. Let me do it in the bowl. Um, yeah, right. You're going to have to do a bowl because it's just pure liquid. Help oh, that. So this is meant to be thick brown soil. Mm. Listen, listen to the liquid, yeah. it's like water. And it comes out like this. Mm. So I didn't know you put that in the cupboard, I thought it had gone in the bin. Mm. So I had to throw the whole container away. Because yeah. uh, like just water. Like so that'll have to go in the bin. Mm. Did you ever didn't put that on your chips the other day? Well it is. I thought, <laughs> I thought that had already gone in the bin. I, d I yeah. thought you'd notice the brown container. No, I just in thought you'd fill that up. No, no. I was doing it to give <clears throat> Crawford, Crawford a, a bottle of it, but... I just throw it away. Mm. Oh, sorry, I thought I told you. Did you look at the taste on it? I didn't actually. But we've still got about two brown sauces out there. Or whether they large one. ones. Yeah. Oh, right. But I've been filling the other brown sauce bottle up with it, and it's been normal. Thick. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just that one. I've never come across one like that before. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Told them today. Well, so, I just thought so I've had that many bargains from there, and mm. the amount of bargains I got today, I just thought they either. I don't want to look as if I'm complaining because <laughs> I am really grateful to be able to use them, you know. I did get a discount on the green beans, so um, I picked up all the others. Carol took a box of the salad potatoes. Yeah. And um, I've picked up everything else and um, said to Declan how much, uh, he's the manager in this particular food initiative, yeah. said how much for the um, the green beans and he said um, £1.50. I said uh, I think it should be more like £1.20. <laughs> um, he looked at me and he said, should we call it £1.25 and shook my hands. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we'll have to stop negotiating <laughs> like this. Give me a wry smile and walked off. <laughs> but I think he was just glad to see another box go, to tell yeah. you the truth. Because it's a shame because if they don't sell them, there's only so much they can give to the garden and association and the rest will go in landfill, won't yeah. they? They've got to pay them to get the business out of here. Moved, yeah. I don't always do it, um, but I enjoy the fun of it as well. <laughs> I didn't do it on any of the other things. And to get those tomatoes for two pounds yeah. and everything else for the prices they were, you just couldn't be said. There's no way I'd try and negotiate on that. But some of these, I knew the condition wasn't absolutely perfect, so that's why I offered my price. <laughs> <clears throat> Just hoping with my sore throat, my voice is being heard, okay? Well, I think we're done, are we? Yeah.
So we'll come back in the morning and um, put these through the cutting process and carry this video on and this will be the green beans completed. Well I thought this would be the easiest one to complete. Yeah. Bonus, bonus, all the way round, isn't it? Yeah. So, and I'll put a place in to make sure all the beans are fully immersed in the water. Oh, sloppy worker, Mr. Wallflowers. I found three more, not done. Sitting in the cooker. Last three, pour a little more water down the side. So I'm just behind you now, the water distiller. Um, get a bit more water. Don't need too much, just enough to, to top the sides up. And et voila. Two chopping boards to the side. Mr. Wallflowers of his bread sticks, he loves them, he's always munching on them. Uh, a full container of trimmings and what can't be used so that will all go in the compost bin in the compost bucket Sloppy worker too, mine are all behind the tissue. Okay. And there we have it. We'll come back to you tomorrow morning and start the processing of canning them and vacuum sealing them.